for your kindness to Harriet. He was unpardonably rude, and he aimed at wounding more than Harriet. I was completely mistaken in Mr. Elton. There is a littleness about him which you discovered and I did not. You would have chosen for him better than he has chosen for himself. Harriet Smith has some first-rate qualities which Mrs. Elton is totally without. She does you credit, Emma, as you do her. Ah, I'm sure that's... <laughs> Come on. Set your companions an example. They're all lazy. They're all asleep. You must dance another set. I am ready whenever I am wanted. With whom will you dance? With you. If you will ask me. You have shown that you can dance, and we are not really so much brother and sisters to make it improper. No, indeed. better than anyone. <laughs> I was completely mistaken in Mr. Elton. There is a, a littleness about him which you saw, and I did not. He always was a small man, made smaller by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced he was in love with Harriet. How could I have been so stupid? I will do you the justice of saying that you would have chosen better for him than he did for himself. Miss Smith has some first-rate qualities, infinitely preferable to a sensible man than Mrs. L. I, I was surprised by our conversation. Come on, young ladies, supper's over. Time to start dancing again. I am ready, sir. Ginny's <laughs> market. Who will you dance with? Hmm? Why you? <laughs> if you will ask me. I can only say that at that moment you took her to the floor, I was proud to call you my friend. <laughs> the Eltons are unpardonable. I must say they aim at wounding more than just Harriet. They seem to want to snub you too, Emma. Why? Certainly, Mrs. Elton has no reason to dislike you. You confess now, old friend. You did want him to marry Harriet. I did, and they cannot forgive me. Oh, dear. How could I have made such a misjudgment? What is the point in me being almost 22 if there is still so much for me to learn? You know more than you realize. I know that I must own to you to be completely wrong about Mr. Elton. There is a littleness to him which you discovered that I did not. In return for your acknowledging so much, I say that you chose for him better than he chose for himself. <laughs> Harriet Smith has some first-rate qualities about her, which Mrs. Elton is entirely without. Your friend surprised me most pleasantly. Emma, dear, as a last dance, will you come and set the example for your companions? Gladly. Whom are you going to dance with? With you, if you will ask me. You have shown yourself a fine dancer, despite all your protests, and it should not be improper for us to dance. After all, we are not brother and sister. <laughs> brother and sister? <laughs> no, no. Indeed, we are not. Is 
that is well done. I think they aimed at wounding more than Harriet. Why are they your enemies, Emma? Perhaps I can guess in Mr. Altley's case. Confess, you did want him to marry Harriet. Yes, I did, and they cannot forgive me. I admit now I was completely mistaken in Mr. Elton. There is a littleness about him which you discovered and I did not. Well, in my turn, I'll admit I underestimated Harriet Smith. She has some first-rate qualities which Mrs. Elton is totally without. An unpretending, single-minded, artless girl. Infinitely to be preferred by any man of sense and taste to such a woman as Mrs. Elton. Come, Miss Woodhouse. Miss Hardway, Miss Smith. What are you all doing? Come, Emma, set your companions the example. I'm ready. Who will you dance with? With you, if you will ask me. Will you? Indeed I will. I have seen how well you dance now. And we're not so much brother and sister as to make it improper. Brother and sister? No, indeed. for your kindness to Harriet just now. I consider that man's behaviour most odious and hurtful. I fancy they both aimed at wounding more than poor Harriet. Most probably. Emma, why have they become your enemies? Confess that at one time you did think that he and Harriet would have made a good match. I did, most mistakenly, as I now see. And they cannot forgive me for it. Well, I shall not scold you. I shall leave you to your reflections. Can you trust me to such flatterers? Does my vain spirit ever tell me I am wrong? Not your vain spirit, perhaps, but your serious one. If the first one leads you wrong, I'm sure the other tells you. I must confess that I was most mistaken in my judgment of Mr. Elton. There is a littleness in him which you saw and I did not. And I fully convinced myself of his being in love with Harriet. I realized I was sadly wrong. And in return for your acknowledging so much, let me do you the justice to say that you would have chosen for him better than he has for himself. You really think so? Harriet Smith has many excellent qualities, which Mrs. Elton is totally without. Well, I am very glad to hear you say that. And let me admit my own mistake. I underestimated her. She is an unpretending, artless, sweet-tempered girl, infinitely to be preferred by any man who is sense to a woman like Mrs. Elton. She is a dear, sweet creature and worth a hundred, Mrs. Elton. And I find her... You should set these young people an example. Everyone's lazy tonight. Everyone's half asleep. Gentlemen, oh, gentlemen. Poor Mr. Weston, we really must bestir ourselves. Well, to whom are you engaged for this one? To you, if you will ask me. Will you? I think we are not quite so much brother and sister as to make it at all improper. Brother and sister? I should think not indeed. <laughs>